Y'all, Gen Con is so close. <laughs> Derek and I fly out in just over a week. I'm super excited and I can't wait to see everyone. And if I'm excited, I bet everybody here is also starting to get excited about it. And all of the chats that I'm a part of with all of my buddies, they've all started up and everyone's just letting each other know when their flights are and we can't wait. Uh, right now I'm driving to Trader Joe's and we're gonna get some snacks. <laughs> so I figured if I'm excited, y'all are probably excited. Oh my gosh, yeah, so today is Friday and I saw an announcement by Jen Khan saying that today is the last day that people can get four day badges and Saturday badges for Gen Con so they're gonna sell out that's uh, incredible Gen Con is just so cool and it's amazing that so many people go and they find joy in it and they love it and I don't know I'm just excited it's been a busy busy year so I'm really excited to get to see everyone and we just arrived at Trader Joe's so let's go get some fun snacks Sorry, I had to stop filming because uh, the cart got really heavy and filming at the same time was a little too much. Let me show you why I was getting some snacks. This is me just like testing out a thing. So on TikTok, I saw this thing called Snackle Boxes. I don't know if you guys have seen that. And they look like this. Well, they're any, any little box, I guess, with like dividers in it. And this particular box has like dividers that can come out so you can change the size of the little squares. And what people have been doing is putting the, taking these on the plane with them basically and filling up each square with a different snack. So you could have little pretzels and you could have peanuts and you could have little gushers and fruit roll-ups. You can have chocolate. People have been putting baby bells and string cheeses and all sorts of like Oreos in them. And I just thought that was such a fun little plain snack thing. So I got some snackle boxes and the snacks that i got like it's way too early for me to start packing for gen con but i figured i could like put some stuff in there and it'll be snacks for the week and we can kind of test out how the snackle box works i just thought that was a brilliant idea so we're gonna give the snackle box a try and on the plane i just <laughs> i just love little plates with like compartments in them and you can pick and max uh, pick and mix exactly what you want in your snackle box and i think that is so cute so we're gonna do that so i'm trying to figure out what game might be good to bring to Gen Con. I have a couple of criteria. Bonus points for if it's small-ish and packable. And I would like maybe a couple of solo or like two-player games because Saturday, Sunday, some of Monday, I'll be kind of by my own entertaining myself. But then after that point, I'm gonna be hanging with, with large groups of people. So it helps to have games that fit for larger groups of people. So let's see. This is the classic, right? If ever I run events at Gen Con for like a meet and greet or something, Shipwreck Arcana is always the game that I that I whip out for that. So probably definitely bringing that. The other game that I really love is One Deck Dungeon for solo for solo gaming and Asmadi games is excellent. They'll probably be a Gen Con. I don't see why they wouldn't be. And One Deck Dungeon is such a great solo game. So I recommend that. But after that, I'm not so sure because I don't want to take the really big ones with me. I feel like that'll be a lot. Um, man, I really love Micro Macro. Not a great like game for maybe a convention because people need to get around a map for that one. Dinosaur Tea Party was super fun. If you like Guess Who, this is like the gamer's version of Guess Who. It was super fun and I really enjoyed this one. Pandemic is one of my all-time favorites. So is Mysterium. As you can see, this is like my gaming shelf and then Derek's stuff is like over there. <laughs> These are some that I picked up last year, Dwarf Romantic. That's a lot of fun. Uh, it kind of reminded me of like a Carcassonne co-op game, kind of like the Mists of Carcassonne, which I, I'm not sure I have. Um, and then Decorum was a lot of fun too. I really like co-op games. Beacon Patrol I picked up last year too. That's been super fun. We took that one out a few times. So yeah, if you have recommendations for fun, like one player games that are small and easy to pack that I should bring to Gen Con to entertain myself with, let me know. 
I've also been like getting intensely into knitting these last few years, so I'll definitely be bringing my knitting and working away on that while watching, you know what, I'm hooked on Survivor, like the TV show, and <laughs> for like a couple of years nonstop, I've been watching it from the beginning, and I'm just finishing season 39, which was like... I don't know, like six, seven years ago, something like that. Anyway, I'm finally catching up to the end. And all the time I've been watching Survivor and knitting and I have knit so many sweaters. Derek actually had a great idea and maybe we'll do this next year. In the comments, if I have any crafters, knitters, crocheters, sewists in the house, um, there's, the, okay, so in knitting, there's this thing called Rhinebeck. I think it's like the convention for knitters. I, it's not in my state, so I don't typically, I'm, I'm not able to go. But a lot of knitters will knit their Rhinebeck sweater for that. And that just means they're knitting a sweater that they will be wearing at Rhinebeck. And, oh my gosh. And I was wondering if people would be down to maybe knit or make something for Gen Con next year. And then maybe we meet up and take like a group picture and like hang out, especially like in the, the craft room area. But I was thinking, wouldn't it be really fun if like we all committed to making the Gen Con project and we all make something from scratch that we then bring to Gen Con and show off to each other. Like for me, maybe it'll be a pair of socks or a shirt or a shawl, something that's not hot because I'm not going to be wearing that in Indiana in the summer. It's not just limited to crafting, I guess. Like if there's another... I don't know, 3D printed thing you want to make or I don't, anything. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments if that's something you're down to do for 2025 and we will get that figured out. Oh my gosh. This is my griddle. Uh, it's early morning. She, she has all the energy in the world. What is happening? Griddle, what are you doing? <laughs> and that over there. Oh. That over there is a wolfie. Have I shown you guys Bertha the possum? <laughs> Have I shown you guys Bertha the possum yet? I don't know. I made this. There's a blanket on her tail. Um, and I, her name's not really Bertha. Her name changes every time because I keep forgetting what I name her. But I crocheted this giant thing. Hang on. I wonder if I can show you guys how big this thing is. This is my hand. <laughs> hey, my girl. Get on there. Up, up. Up, up. Sit. Good stay. This is Bertha with my griddle on it. All right, let's take the dog for a quick walk. Hey. Hey, my griddle, do you want to show them some of your tricks? Griddle bow. Good bow. My griddle sit. Good. My griddle down. Good job, stay. Good job. My griddle bang. Oh, you're playing dead. Are you playing dead? Okay, come. Good girl. Okay. It's about just over a week for when I leave for Gen Con, maybe a week and a half for most of y'all. And uh, I don't know who's coming to Gen Con this year. Who am I going to see? Who's not coming? I'm just going to be a little sad. I'll be sad I don't get to see you. If you see me at Gen Con, say hi. I always want to do that. So yeah, I think I'll probably have like a day negative whatever video coming out at some point. Um, I probably will start the day that with like my packing and getting stuff ready. You'll see the snackle box. Um, and then you'll probably see Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday before Gen Con and then Wednesday through Sunday and maybe some of my travel days after. I always think those last travel days are a little dull. I don't know if those are fun for you guys. Let me know. And I guess the first few days are always a little like quiet because nobody's in town yet and I'm kind of entertaining myself in Indy for a while and I don't always know what to put in those vlogs. So if you guys have any questions that maybe I can answer in videos or comments or I don't know, maybe that is like something I can use to put in the videos, answer some of your questions that you have about Gen Con or Derek or travel or planning or prepping or anything really. I enjoy making the content and engaging with you guys. And as long as y'all are still enjoying it, I'll keep making them. So I'll find stuff to put in there. Don't you worry. Anyway, I got to go to work. Love you guys. See you soon. And see you at Gen Con.